Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book talk on I'll Meet You There by Heather Demetrios and I read this book like two and a half weeks ago so it is a little bit foggy in my brain like I can't remember everything perfectly but I really felt the need to make this book talk for you guys because it is a wonderful contemporary YA book and sometimes those are hard to go by you can't really always find a great contemporary in the YA genre but I want to share them when I can so I figured I would just push past the fact that it's been two weeks since I read it for those of you that haven't read it I really want to share a non-spoiler synopsis and for those of you that have I would love to talk a bit of details you know what I can remember so this book follows a girl named Skylar Evans who grew up in a town called Creekview and for as long as she could remember she's wanted to escape this town and move to San Francisco for college so she can go to art school like she's always wanted but her mother loses her job right before graduation which makes Skylar think that she'll never be able to escape this town and then there's Josh he went to Afghanistan to be a marine but returns home when he loses his leg him and Skylar are brought together by the parents Paradise Motel where they both happened to work out before he went to Afghanistan and where he ends up returning when he gets home right before the summer she's going to college. And what starts out as a friendship may turn out to be a little bit more. And this book kind of follows their beautiful journey in that and it's a wonderful, wonderful read. I gave it four out of five stars. I loved it so much and I just, I gotta say guys, Josh is like getting up there on my book boyfriend list, okay? He's absolutely wonderful. I love this book so, so much. This book has wonderful writing and it's so fast paced. I just ate this book up so fast. It took me a mere couple of days to finish it and I absolutely loved it. I really recommend this book to those of you that are fans of contemporary but have yet to check this one out. I swear to you, it'll make your insides warm. You'll absolutely love it. And I wanna talk about it with you guys more. So definitely go check it out if you're not already. But that's gonna be it for the non-spoiler section. So if you've not read this book, I'm gonna say goodbye to you now. Go make sure to pick it up and come back later when you have and we're gonna talk some spoilers now I absolutely loved the characters in these books and that's really difficult for me especially like with any contemporary YA book to come by is the characters like usually the main girl for me is super annoying but Skylar I found to be super likable and she really reminded me a lot of myself which sounds kind of weird kind of crazy but as I was reading more and more I was like wow I feel like I am Skylar not in the sense where I have like this terrible family life and you know I feel like I'm never gonna be able to escape but I just there's some things about her that just reminded me of myself and that made me really happy to read because it's always great reading a book where the main character has similarities to you because then you feel more connected to them and the book becomes more important and more special to you so I really appreciated that factor. I also absolutely loved Josh besides the fact that he was kind of a jerk throughout most of the book I really did enjoy him for some reason. I kind of justified why he was rude, why he was the way he was. I mean I don't blame him for the way he's acted but he did seem to be kind of like a jerk to her before but that's besides the point because I really did enjoy him as a character anyways so I really enjoyed both of them together apart I just love both of them I love the way the book was written in Skylar's point of view but then we had those alternate chapters where it was Josh's notebook to his friend from Afghanistan I thought that was so sad the first one that it came to it was like Skylar 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 and then it came to the first Josh chapter or two pages we know and I just started crying I literally started crying I was like oh my god it's so sad being in his mindset to read about a character that's just better through so much just gets me emotional and Josh just made me emotional with literally every single entry of his Josh got me emotional and I just whew, it was hard to deal with man okay guys literally but when Josh asks her so how's the sky today like literally kill me it killed me every single time I wanted to die I was like oh. <laughs> Like, I wanted to cry. I wanted to die. I was just like, are you kidding? Like, are you kidding? And he's like, one day you're gonna say it's sunny. And I was just like, Ugh. I have to say, I truly appreciated a character in YA contemporary fiction that does not drink alcohol and that makes the conscious choice to not drink alcohol because I feel like in most YA contemporary books the teenagers are always partying they're always drinking they're always smoking like just doing crazy stuff in general and I feel like that's not a hundred percent accurate with every person and it makes it seem like every teenager is like that which is not the case <laughs> there's a lot of teenagers that just don't drink and there is some teenagers who make a conscious effort to not drink and I just really liked seeing that depicted in a book because it's not often that you come across a character that's like I'm not drinking alcohol because I don't want to and I just really really like that it just made me feel really happy because personally I can relate with that and it's something that I don't relate to a lot in contemporaries is all these teenagers going out and partying so to find a book where a character is in that mindset of like I'm not drinking alcohol because I don't want to it was really refreshing and I just really enjoyed it
I absolutely loved Marge. If you watched one of my past videos, it's probably the video I posted right before this, of my Top 5 Wednesday favorite motherly figures. Yeah, Marge was in that list because I absolutely loved her. I loved how she was like a motherly figure to Skylar and Josh because Josh's mother was crazy and so was Skylar's. So Marge kind of was that mediator of like wonderful motherly maternal greatness and I just really loved her as a character as well. I don't know man but this book is sort of like the definition of a slow burning romance done amazingly. It's just so great. I hate insta love. I think it is so annoying. So to have a book like this where it's just like the progression of the relationship is so perfect and just the time and it's it's just amazing and it ended so well. Like their romance level it was so great every single page like I was just into it and it was just so wonderfully done. I really really liked that. The one thing that I just really wished for in this book that we didn't get a lot of is more backstory, a little bit more of Skylar and Josh kind of before he went to Afghanistan when she was younger. I would have liked to see their interactions a little bit more then, but I understand why the author decided not to do that, but I just think it would have been kind of cute to add those in as kind of like flashbacks. I don't know, I just would have enjoyed that a little bit. How about you guys? I just loved the whole book, all the times that they kind of hung out. That one scene where she's in the parking lot crying because she can't afford food, that literally made me so sad. I was so upset for her and Josh was upset for her and I was like... <laughs> I did enjoy Skylar's friends, Chris and Dylan, I think it was. Dylan was the one that had the baby. I really liked that. I loved having a teenage character with a baby and it not being a big deal. I thought that was absolutely wonderful. I really liked how, like, pro-feminism this book was as well. There was actually one part in this book that I do remember that Josh kind of said something that was sort of borderline sexist or something like that, and Skylar was like, how about we don't say that, <laughs> you know? It was just really great to see. I don't know, I love little stuff like that. Overall, I just really enjoyed the book. There's not really a single bad thing I could say about this book, to be honest. The one thing I didn't quite understand was the jumping trains thing, and I understand it from a standpoint of somebody that's kind of trying to be adventurous after so many bad things have happened to them, but it just didn't really fit. 100% with me, but that's just my opinion on that. Overall, I really enjoyed this story, and it's going to stick with me for a long time, I can tell you that right now. I'd love to hear all of your thoughts on it. Everything about this book that you want to share with me, definitely leave in a comment down below. And as always, if there's anything I did not touch on that you would like to hear my opinions about, definitely leave me a comment down below, or you can ask me on Twitter, Goodreads, I usually reply on there. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this book talk. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. Other than that, I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful day, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye. All in and had to say to make us want to pray for peace every single day. Yeah. Keep your money, don't want